Zendesk Agent Home. What is this new release from Zenas that's supposed to supercharge agent productivity? Well, in this video, we're going to explore just that. I'm going to share my screen now. So I'm here in my Zendesk and I go to admin center. First, I have to activate it before anything. So it's going to be here in workspaces in uh, agent interface. I have to scroll all the way down and it's agent home here. I have already activated it. So I enable it and then I go back to my support. I refresh my screen like a good admin and then i go to the home so where i used to have my dashboard now i have this agent home so as you see i have a new interface with something that is meant to supercharge my productivity as an agent okay so in this interface first we have tickets so this is my list of tickets there are some limitations i can only see up to 100 so i have my tickets then i have the work that uh, i have shared with some of my co-workers and i can see tickets that i'm cc'd on or tickets that i'm following or completed work in the last 30 days. I also have some options to filter out these tickets by status, by the channel that they are part of, and this recommend that I'm just going to ignore. But I also have here some ticket statistics based on the CSAT or the customer experience that I'm getting. So in here, let's start filtering out some things to see how this looks like. Let's look for pending tickets. And uh, yeah, I have only one. Let's look for open tickets. And I have a few. Let me just uh, uncheck the pending. OK, good. So as you can see, I have a hefty list of tickets that I can scroll through. And uh, of course, I can just uh, enter the tickets just like per usual. So I can see the SLA, I can see everything related to the ticket. And if I access the ticket, then it just uh, opens my ticket like it normally would. I have many faults in life. And one of them is the fact that I've never served as a Zendesk agent. I've only worked as a Zendesk admin. So I have some skill deficits that I cannot fill in this case. I'm going to pause the video right now. I'm going to talk to my team. Some of them are coming from a support role. Let's see how they like this. And I'm back. I've talked to my team and their reaction was pretty much like, meh. <laughs> so I don't know how this is any different from actually going to the normal views where you can see your tickets and follow everything that is coming into the system. I do see the benefit for you coming here at the beginning of your day and just watch high level of what you're actually trying to do. Otherwise, it's just one more thing you have to keep an eye out on. And now for some conclusions, the feature is fairly new, so I don't know exactly if this is actually going to be beneficial because it seems like it's something else that you have to keep an eye out on. You already have a way to keep an eye on tickets in your views, but this could maybe potentially start you off the day to supercharge the beginning of your day, let's say. Limitations of this agent home. If you have tickets created from before November 21st, those won't be showing up in this uh, interface. Zendesk talk tickets won't be appearing in here either. This is something that Zendesk is working on. This only works for messaging, email, and web form. You can only see up to 100 tickets. That's another limitation. For the messaging channel, the updates that you see are live. And for the other channels like email and web, only if you refresh will you be able to see the updates. This has been a quick update. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.